G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden, your happy worm farmer. In today's vlog, I've gone to the local landscapers and I've picked up some chicken manure and it got it mixed with leaf mold. Now this is gonna warm my worms up, feed my worms and extend to the windrow so I can sell more compost. And I reckon it'll take about six weeks for the worms to eat through this whole half a square meter, which is about one and a half cubic feet. It will also help warm up my biggest worm farms ever because they're right at the end of the windrow and they've been a bit cold. I'm actually a bit late and I should have started this hot compost area at the beginning of winter, so I'm about six weeks behind. But better late than ever, right? And I know my worms are gonna love chewing through this material. As I've been digging through this chicken manure, I've been finding a dark red compost worm. Now, worm wranglers, I don't think I have this type of worm in my system. What type of compost worm do you think it is? Let me know in the comments box down below. Let's pray they breed up and they become more dominant in this windrow. I've also decided to release the worms from the half barrel worm farm. I was sort of struggling keeping them alive. A lot of the Euros were okay. I lost a lot of the Africans in here. And there's a few other worms in here that I think will benefit being at the end of this row in a warmer section. I will, however, make another one in spring when things warm up a bit because I really like this half barrel worm farm. So there's quite a few there and they'll happily mix into the end row here and start laying their cocoons and I think they'll enjoy being just that little bit warmer. Take a look at that bedding guys, look this is just killer. They are absolutely going to go ballistic in this stuff. So adding the chicken manure and the leaf mould to the end of the windrow really is a progression for me that I do Oh, about every six weeks because it takes about six weeks for the worms to chew through that and for it to get into a material where I keep moving it to the other end of the row to get harvested. Then I just keep adding. And I've added this high nitrogen material because I want to warm that end up. And I've got lots of egg carton cardboards that I'm going to actually start throwing in there as well and mixing that through and adding that carbon to it. So the leaf mould has a lot of sticks and twigs and bark and wood chip and things. They love getting on the edge of that and feeding on that as well. And it provides an extra carbon source. And they really dig eating chicken manure. And I throw that over the surface of the windrow as well and they come up and feed underneath the shade cloth. So it's a system that I've been working at for quite some time. It's only been really recently since I added you know, the big worm farms sort of around the area that have really, that has made such a big difference to keeping my stocks up. Now, I believe that in the not near distant future, I'm gonna have close to my million worm goal. And uh, I'm really stoked because every time now I'm just shoveling in in certain areas where it's warm enough, they're just there. They're not staying in the top surface so much. It's a bit too cold. They're going down deep as I found where the warmth is and there's still food there so really stoked to have this progression hope you're enjoying the videos and you're getting plenty from them give us a big thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to the show if you want to keep learning more about worm farming there's a worm wranglers members area in the links below or a join button right next to the subscribe there and you can learn everything you want to know about worm farming really really fast have a great day happy worm farming and we'll see you at the next video slash vlog or live show on the weekend real soon. Bye for now.